Adam Lerner, and today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about creating presets. Um, you know, I use presets all the time. I have a number of different presets for different things. Uh, some of them are just for basic sharpening. Some of them or are for split toning. Some of them are for kind of creating like a vintage uh, film vibe. Some of them are for converting black and white and doing some other things with that. Um, creating a preset is super, super easy. So what happens basically is that if you, let's say, have an image or a series of images and you've created a way of editing them and you really like the way that that particular series of adjustments looks, you can just save that as a preset and then you can apply that preset when you're doing other editing, okay? It can, it can be a base for doing a new batch of photos um, or you can apply it directly. I mean, it really just depends on your editing style. So let's get into this. This is actually uh, a, uh, some images from a recent photo shoot I did. Um, this is a menswear shoot. Uh, we did a variety of different looks. We did it um, here in Brooklyn. We did it outside. And this was all done high speed sync, which is something that um, we'll be making a video about at another point, but um, something that we could also talk about in the future. And um, what that meant is that these images were shot uh, at, um, I'll show you right here, 1 1600th of a second, F32 ISO 400. I was using the 7200 at 105, but I was popping flashes at 1 1600th of a second. Now, most flashes um, and, uh, you know, have a sync speed that goes up to about 1 250th, 1 320th at, you know, tops. So to be able to pop your flashes at a higher speed like that, you need, um, you know, a system uh, such as the uh, radio, uh, the, I'm sorry, the pocket wizard system, which is a radio system that allows for you to do high speed sync. And high speed sync is really interesting. Um, I'm just really kind of in the beginning stages of, of learning it and playing with it. But I can tell you that in the little bits that I've been doing, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with what you can do. Because believe it or not, you know, this image that we're looking at right here, this is right out of the camera. And this image was taken at three o'clock in the afternoon um, on a very sunny day. Now, granted, the sun was behind him, um, but still, you know, this was, you know, wh what I was able to do is by getting the shutter speed to such a fast speed, I'm closing down the ambient light from the background, but I'm pushing the light from the flashes. And again, this is something that we'll talk about at another point. Um, what would really help to illustrate this is if I had taken this image without the flashes, you would have been able to see that at 1 1600th of a second that, that uh, Nick here would have been completely or primarily silhouetted and the background would have been as it is. So it's a pretty interesting uh, setup. And again, you know, we'll be making some videos about that to show it to you guys. But today is really about creating presets. So let's start with this image right here. Now, I'm back in that catalog that I, that I started a while ago that's blank. It doesn't have presets. It doesn't have a lot of stuff in it because I wanted to be in this catalog to not be cluttered with a lot of the other things that I have in my main catalog. So very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the D key to get out of the library into the develop module. And right off the bat, I can see that there's a little piece of a light stand over here. So I could either, you know, edit that out or I'm just going to, for the sake of time, I'm just going to crop that right out like that. Okay, very good. So we'll just keep that like that. Now, what I want to do is, you know, the exposure I kind of like. I don't really want to change this too much here. I want to add some blacks, just a little bit of that. I'm going to add some clarity. I'm sorry, contrast, excuse me. And I'm going to add some clarity, okay? Now, I'm just going to take the saturation, just duck it down just a touch, and I'm just going to add a little bit of um, temperature in the white balance. All right, now, what I want to do is I want to um, go into uh, sharpening, and I'm just going to grab something like his eye right here, and I'm just going to bring that up to a certain point, maybe about there. And then I will mask it off and just bring it up so I can sharpen the edge detail and not texture so much. So we'll go up to something um, right about there. Now, uh, maybe I'll just add a little bit of highlight priority uh, vignetting, just a touch, nothing too fancy or crazy. And uh, while I'm looking at this, I'm just going to add a little bit of fill. Okay. So I've got some basic sharpening. I've got some basic adjustments over here. 
Um, and, uh, you know, I want to keep this like this is right here, okay? So I'm just going to leave that for the, for now. And um, oh, it actually grabbed all of my, uh, my presets. Huh, how funny is that? Um, anyway, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new preset. So I'm going to Command Shift N. And right here where it says preset four, or, I'm sorry, preset name, I'll just call this HSS Nick which was high speed sync with Nick. And what I'm going to do here is now I can look at all the different adjustments that I've, that, that are possible. And I can select manually, which ones of these adjustments that I want to bring in to, um, this particular preset. So white balance. Yes. Uh, basic tone. Yes. Tone curve. Yes. Clarity. I do want sharpening. I want color treatment. I want all the color settings I want. I didn't do any split toning, so I'm going to leave that. Uh, I didn't have any graduated filters. I'm going to leave that. Noise reduction, um, I'm going to leave those. Uh, lens corrections, we didn't do that. We did some post crop vignetting. We didn't do process version or calibration. Okay, so out of all of those, I'm going to create this HSS NIC. Now, watch what happens when I reset this image. Okay, uh, minus, the, uh, minus the crop. So let's just get the crop back in there. So the image is reset, you know, minus the crop. Now I will go into the, uh, the HSS Nick, which, uh, is over here and look at that. It, it brings it right in there. And actually I'm going to bring this up into my other presets folder. So I'm just going to drag it up there. And now that's into my preset. These are the ALP Adam learner photography. Now, the interesting thing is that I can either go into an, an adjacent image and I can select that HSS Nick as a preset. And all of the editing has been done. All the heavy lifting has been done. Now you can also, as, as an, you know, as another technique is you can take the image that you've selected and edited and you can select an adjacent image or other images and you can do command shift and S and that brings up synchronized settings. And interestingly, it brings up the same set of adjustments um, that we captured in our preset. Okay. So there's really, you know, th in the interest of time, synchronizing settings is going to definitely get you a lot more accomplished. You're going to let, you know, the computer do all the heavy lifting for you. However, let's say you wanted to do an image differently. So let's say you looked at this image right here and you're like, you know what, that would have, you know, maybe a cool vintage look to it. Okay. So you could go into one of your, um, one of your uh, presets and you could put one of those presets on it. But then you could say to yourself, you know what, this one actually, I would like to have that HSS Nick and you could do that, whatever. So point that I'm trying to make here guys is that all of these presets that I've created for myself have been as a result of doing editing and then capturing all of those little settings that I put into my edit and then saving it as a preset by going command shift N and that brings me up to the new develop preset and then you can tell it where to go. I should have just selected ALP because that's the folder that I've created for mine. Okay. And then there you go. And then you have your preset. That's it for now. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or email adamlearnerphoto at gmail.com and we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.